Montreal's such a vibrant city with so much going on during the summer, so here's a video of what we saw on our day out there with prices of some activities to give you ideas if you're planning your own trip. Montreal is the largest city in the province of Quebec and is set on an island along the St. Lawrence River. Parking's everywhere in Montreal and ranges from $16 to $25 for the day, so we parked west of downtown so we could get back out of the city easily. Our first stop was Mont-Royal, which is west of downtown Montreal and is where the city gets its name. You get stunning panoramic views of the entire city from the viewpoint. The park is just under 700 acres with a lake and walking trails and lots going on, especially at the weekends. You could easily spend the day there, but we had a lot to see, so we made our way straight downtown, down Peel Street. Admiring all the beautiful buildings along the way, some of which are part of the McGill University. Look out for the street art throughout the city, it's everywhere. We then decided to grab something to eat, so stopped in for a poutine, in which is a delicacy in Quebec, made up of fries, curds and gravy. There are so many different toppings you can get, but we chose the Montreal smoked meat. It's a great comfort food and one of my favourites. That was about $15. I always make a point of visiting Chinatown when we go to a city, as I love the atmosphere. So I headed there next and it didn't disappoint. I know we'd just eaten, but I couldn't resist popping into a bakery and getting a pork bun, which was amazing. It was bustling there with so many food options. We pass by the beautiful Dorchester Square and the Mary Queen of the World Cathedral. and headed into Old Montreal to the Place de Arms, which is a great opportunity to take a break and watch the world go by. We decided not to enter the Notre Dame Basilica and just admire it from the outside, but it's $16 to enter. We wandered the streets and headed towards the river. Where we saw a great historical display. And walked along the promenade towards the old port of Montreal. There's so much going on at the port and a lot of easy ways to spend your hard earned money. There is the Montreal Science Centre, which is between $18 and $28 per person. I think Cirque du Soleil at the port is seasonal, so I couldn't find a price on that. We walked by loads of different food trucks with great options. There's a pirate themed amusement park, which looks great fun, but at $65 for kids over five or $219 for a family of four, it's pretty spendy, but this does give you four hours in there. 
La Grande Rue de Montreal is Canada's tallest observation wheel, where you have 360 degree views of the city. Tickets are about $30 per person. The SOS Labyrinth is over two kilometers of passages with ever-changing theme challenges. Prices start at $19 for children or $76 for a family of four. Next to the park is the zip line, which starts at $23 for children over 13. It's 1,200 feet and crosses over the Bon Secours Island. We even found beaches by the clock tower, which has a great view of the harbour and is free to use during the day, but they have DJs at night, which are ticketed events. We decided to head back into the old town and popped into Notre Dame Bon Secours Chapel as there was a free exhibition on. It was beautiful inside and gave us a chance to cool off a little. Next we went to the Bon Secours Market, which is a bit of a tourist trap, so didn't spend too much time there. Before we started walking down the Rue St Paul. Which is one of Montreal's oldest streets. It's a lovely street to walk down and enjoy the surrounding beautiful buildings, shops and the atmosphere has a definite European feel to it. We came across a cool little market tucked away in the courtyard which sold loads of handmade things and a great place to wander for a while. It was getting time to make a move so we slowly started making our way back to the car and admired the contrast between the old architecture and the new. We walked by the cool looking Montreal Convention Centre then headed down St Catherine Street for a little while before coming to the Plaster Festivals, an outdoor plaza which hosts many concerts and festivals. At the time of filming, they were hosting the International First Peoples Festival. We had a typical touristy day, but barely scratched the surface, and we'll hopefully get a chance to go back and delve deeper into more of the neighborhoods. Here are some of the extras we wanted to see but didn't have the time. Thanks for watching!